The anti-Hindu narrative usually attacks Hinduism through frames of gender equality and suppression of freedoms or liberty. However, acknowledging only two genders is certainly not freedom nor liberation. Hinduism recognizes 11 genders and provides equity, not making the mistake that all people are equal and should be fed the same medicine. When the spiritual strengths of Hinduism are diluted as a one-size-fits-all placebo, the desired effect will not be achieved. Then they say Hinduism doesn't work. The spiritual sciences of Sanatana Hindu Dharma are too powerful, too real to apply them blindly. When the right solution is delivered for a problem, it delivers solution, no doubt. The specialized spiritual ecosystems of Hindu temples deliver solutions for each and every sampradaya, keeping each enlightenment tradition alive. It is these unique, powerful aspects of Hinduism that are brutally attacked by the anti-Hindu narrative, the gundas, to keep the real strength down, the real solutions hidden, to maintain the power structure. Bring back the gurukul for your children, deliberating enlightenment science for yourself. It's not too late. We need to stand and protect the enlightenment sciences, preserve the scriptures and grow the gurukul, establish the political legitimacy to protect Sanatana Hindu Dharma on the planet. Revive the ancient traditions, give the gift of liberation. Our ability to be in tune with others and existence depends entirely upon how we conduct ourselves. It depends on the priorities we choose in life. What if we do not choose? What if we accept things as they happen to us? It's time to talk about renunciation. Renunciation is not running away from life. Renunciation is flowing with life, without resistance. We complete today's segment with a truth from the source. Paramashiva is not research material to be analyzed, he's an experience to be enjoyed.